Hello, this is Hawk to Bean, and today we are going to the back rooms. Level 409 of the back rooms. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Survival difficulty class 1. Safe, secure, minimal entity count. Level 409 is the 410th level of the back rooms. It was discovered by you slash magic explores the web on December 25th, 2020. I don't know why we had to mention who it was discovered by. Most of these levels are not usually mentioning. The flimsy paper rooms of level 409. Description. Level 409 is a labyrinth and dining network of rooms constructed entirely from paper. <coughs> Excuse me. The walls, which are quite thin and fragile, consisting of only a few sheets of paper, easily give way when subjected to enough force. The rooms and walls of level 409 are similar in design to those of level 0. Although there are some differences, such as the slightly the altered wallpaper or patterns, the absence of carpeting, and the presence of various entities navigating level 409 is a particularly arduous task. The constantly shifting nature of the rooms within the level presents a unique challenge to those attempting to navigate it. The cardboard that comprises the level's floors, which is only a few sheets thick, can be easily torn to reveal the ceilings of level 410. Due to its versatile and ease of access, the cardboard on this level is frequently collected by wanderers and the inhabitants of Fort Origami as a basic building material for, or for creating packaging. Level 409 is bathed in bright light, which emanates from the ceiling of the level. The shadows in this environment behave erratically, often casting in strange directions, overlapping, and appearing in places where they would normally be extinguished by the light. This phenomenon adds an additional layer of disorientation to its already confusing and shifting environment. Bases, Outposts, and Communities Fort Origami Fort Origami is the name of the only established group within the within level 409. Base in Tarsia has is not yet classified as an outpost by official databases. As a collective group, they've torn out multiple walls and set up a successful settlement. They consist of 19 members and survive off of an exploration team. They for or the comprising of six of their 19 members. Together, those six members traverse to connected levels, finding food and water before bringing it back to their base. While generally friendly to outsiders, the members of Fort Origami have been said to prefer to be on their own, having chosen level 09, 409 deliberately as a way to avoid the clutter of other levels. A work in progress VNTG outpost that is in Tarsia. While currently an unfitted and shed until an unfinished settlement, the VNTG are currently setting up a training outpost along the outskirts of level 409. The base is stationed some 60 kilometers from the initial entrance the settlers used to arrive here. However, it is unknown how close in the middle of the level this entrance was. In the future, it will serve as a supply line in between levels, as well as acting as a safe zone for storing more basic goods such as food, building supplies, and clothing. There are also plans to store non-lethal weaponry inside this soon-to-be establishment. Entities Folds Folds are, are large, fluttering pieces of paper that reside within level 409. Although at a glance they appear to resemble a scrunched up piece of paper, closer inspection shows that they are instead various pieces of large, white card are elegantly folds into the entity's epicenter. These card sheets no clip through each other to form this non Euclidean shape and create mesmerizing and nearly hypnotic array of slowly rotating pieces of card that eternally fold into each other. These creatures are required to be completely harmless and are frequently seen replenishing the walls and floor of level 409 after traveler interference or general wear and tear. A process carried out by le levitating different paper shapes into the tears they encounter. They've been known to hum peaceful melodies while repairing level 409, 
and sometimes will even sing for wanderers as they pass by. Reports have shown that they do take requests and will hum any song played to them. As well as this, they are also known to be virtually indestructible as the card sheets that comprise their shapes goes faster than it can be torn. Tests are planned to be done to see how this could be used for construction, military, and cloning processes. <clears throat> Entrances and Exits Entrances Level 4 or 9 can be occasionally accessed for level 18. If one of if one is to have memories of drawing or, or watching a puppet show with paper stage pieces, one may start to envision those memories during the traversal, slowly bringing them to level 4 or 9. A much more concrete way of entering level 4 or 9 is on level 290. A wanderer can occasionally come across a cinema hall that's, in, that's entirely constructed of paper. Entering this specific stage and facing away from any perceivable exits, will cause a seamless transition to this level. Exits Level 4 and 9 can easily be exited by breaking holes in the floor to level 4 and 10. Alternatively, there are plentiful exits that lead to level 1 and level 696, which take the form of doors constructed out of thin card. Very interesting. That was level 4 and 9 of the backrooms. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!